What's up gaming heroes? Welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. It's so awesome to see you here once again. Today guys, we're going to be doing a bit of a experiment using tailoring. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited. We're going to be spending a lot of gold today to make a lot of gold, hopefully. So we're going to do it. I'm going to see how it goes. Okay, guys. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you an older gold making technique that I use. It's called the Tide Spray Shuffle. And the process is where you take Tide Spray Linen, uh, you craft uh, Tide Spray Linen Braces, take these Tide Spray Linen Braces and you throw them into the scrap machine in Borrelus Harbor and you scrap it. And you've got a chance of basically getting Expulsum. Now with the Expulsum, we take the Expulsum and we craft epic pieces of gear, such as the Uncanny Gear. And you get a quite a good chance of getting quite good pieces of gear that will sell on the auction house for between, you know, I, I don't know, between 8,000 and, and 15k. It can even be more. And if you do it enough times, you are currently taking like 30k gold and turning it into like 100k, potentially. It's worth doing. I like it. It's still got a very good sell rate, and a lot of people are buying this gear because when they get to Shadowlands, they don't want to level up using quests. They don't want to go to Threads of Fate. They don't want to do the, the campaign. They just want to jump straight into dungeons. So, they go to the auction house. They buy this, this epic gear for level 50, so they can boost the item level to, I believe, level 81, and then they can jump into dungeons. But they can't dun jump into dungeons in Shadowlands without being item level 81 uh, to do that. So it's definitely worth doing. So we're going to go ahead and get that done today. I'll take you through all the steps that I'm going to going to use on that. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So first is first. We actually I'm going to close the uh, the auction house just then. I'm going to open up tailoring, and you can see we've got fifty thousand gold on this character. I turned three thousand gold. That's my initial investment into this character to get materials, and I've turned that into fifty k. In a week, okay, and that is from very passive gold making every day, just simply restocking and filling the auction house. Right now, we've got 178,000 gold on the auction house, and that is just from the various different markets that we're in. Uh, we can look at those again in the future, but one of the best ones right now is Crusader. I dominate this market by buying all the materials on the mark on the auction house that are required to make Crusader. Then um, basically repost them at a higher price and then as a result no one can be my competitor for selling Crusader enchant so I was able to dictate the price for that it's a it's a it, it's a sneaky way of doing it but it's a, w a good way of making gold but past that we're, we're focusing here on this gold making technique so we need to go down to tide spray linen braces okay so tide spray linen braces please okay so you see they are two gold 55 silver uh, profit not really very worth doing, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna be making let's try Shall we go for 300? Let's go for 300. Let's queue those up. That's fabulous And you see here these are the the piece of gear here. We want to make is the satin belt uh, Uncanny satin boots and I'm only level one in these uh, at the moment We do need to improve these and upgrade them. But that's totally okay. We can do that in the future it will basically reduce the amount of materials needed. I will 100% do that in the future, but it's still worth doing right now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and crack on with this. So I've queued up 300 Tide Spray Linen Braces. I'm going to go to Gathering, make sure I've got Tailoring open here. Open my task list. Just turn off my cooldowns and my expirations and just focus on what actually is needed here. And it's telling me that I need just a, a bunch of Tide Spray Linen, which is completely okay. So I'm going to search the auction house for that. Click buy out. And for any of you guys that don't know right now, I'm using an add-on called TSM, Trade Skill Master. And this isn't just an add-on where you, you know, you download the add-on and you stick it into your WoW folder. This is an add-on that actually has a back-end um, program that is basically a database and checks the databases of all the characters that you've got across various different realms and loads those into the add-on that you've got in your WoW folder. And that way you get the most accurate information on the auction house in the quickest way possible. And it automatically updates your add-on as well. So it's definitely worth using. 
Uh, I don't have a sponsorship with them. I'm just thinking it's a good add-on. Okay, so buy com commodity. Let's buy that. So that is costing us a whopping 800 gold. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. What are we going to do? Costing us 800 gold, guys. Uh, why is that not working? Okay, let's try it again. 869 gold. Gone down the swanee, okay? Uh, we might even need to make more than 300, but we'll, we'll start off with 300 and see how we get on. Uh, what did I just do there? Oh, I took 931 gold from the mailbox for Shadow Weave Mask. Shadow Weave Masks sell incredibly, guys, if you don't know already. Definitely worth looking into that if you're a tailor. Okay, let's go up here. Okay, so we're going to borrow us now. It's always worth making sure you've got a decent reputation with these guys because uh, the price of nylon thread changes based on that. I'm going to buy 1,500. That unfortunately does cost quite a pretty penny indeed. Uh, 50 silver each. You need 1,500. That's a lot of gold you're spending there. Okay, at this point, we're just going to go ahead and just make sure my bags are cleaned up a little bit here. Uh, I'm not going to take things out. I'm just going to put stuff in the best way possible. Now, you're going to notice some things here. I'm going to continue to craft once my bags are full. And the reason for that is the, the additional crafts will go straight into the mailbox, okay? So they won't, it's not like they're just suddenly disappearing. They're going into my mailbox. And we're going to be taking all of these items here and throwing them into this, this Scrap-O-Matic 1000. I've got an add-on called Scrap, and basically that almost, almost semi-automates the, the process of scrapping, and it makes it so much easier. Uh, you can just chill, watch Netflix or something like that whilst you're, you're scrapping away. So we're going to craft all these and be right back. Okay, so we're halfway through the craft right now. And you can see that our bags are completely full up right now. And it's it looks a bit weird. It's like, well, where, where, well if the, the bags are full, where, where are they going? Where's the items? Rosie, I'm losing items right now. No, don't worry, guys. Calm down. It's all good. They go to a mailbox right now. The postmaster collects them, puts them in the mailbox, and then you automatically get them from there. So you can just literally craft thousands and thousands, and it will just fill your mailbox up. It's all good. Do not panic, my friends. We're going to do a mass, mass scrap in a minute. It's going to be fun. Hopefully, we get some decent uh, expulsion from this. Okay, so for this next bit, you will need to scrap everything in your bags here. There is an add-on I would suggest you go and download to make this easier. It is called Easy Scrap. What it does is, you see this box here, when I click on this scrap matic it opens this box here, and it basically says Q all. Q all and it will automatically scrap them and re queue them uh, once the scrap's done. It is so helpful. Takes all your items in your bags and just literally um, makes our life so much easier for you. And uh, believe it or not, when you're scrapping 300 items, you don't want to have to ha click each item individually into here. It takes a long, long time. So once you've queued all, you literally just got to click scrap every time it, it, it's done. So you can watch something on the side, click scrap crap away and what we're after from this is mainly expulsum expulsums is is the big one that we're after right now so i'm hoping we get lucky enough to get some decent expulsum scrap me up some expulsum please we're just turning all of our tide spray linen braces into expulsum and hopefully we can try and get uh, enough expulsion from that to make some decent uncanny gear now, this time it didn't cost me very much but uh, to do this because of uh, just the fact that there's not many other people doing this on the auction house right now. And um, and I already had a, a bunch of Tide Spray Linen brace, uh, Tide Spray Linen in my bank already. So the only really initial gold investment I, I had to do was buy all, all the nylon thread, which is expensive um, from the vendor because, you know, it, it, it's 50 silver each and I had to buy 1,500 um, of that, which is uh, an expensive investment, but worth doing because we're going to make a lot more gold back as a return. Alright, I'm going to make sure we scrap all these and we will be right back when it's all done. We are going to go to the mailbox to refill uh, because I, I think we've got like another two bags filled with um, with scrap stuff. So we're going to scrap it all and uh, and then... So as you can see, 
uh, I finished the first load of scrapping. We got 22 expulsum, and now we're grabbing the rest of our mailbox items here because uh, when you overcap on your bags, it goes to your mailbox. So we're just grabbing all of this from the mailbox right now, and we're going to do another scrap session, and then we'll finish the last mailbox worth of uh, items, and then hopefully we sh should end up with about 60 to 70 expulsum. If I'm lucky enough. So let's hope. Let's hope, guys. Let's scrap away. Scrap, scrap. Oh, no. I, I need to... Oh, shoot. I You need to make sure that you don't put too much stuff in your inventory. I, sh I should have made sure I had, like, three spaces or something. Uh, I'm going to put this in there. That in there. That two spaces. Um, oh, is it going to be enough? No. I'm, I'll clear up and make sure there's three spaces. There you go. You can always get the stuff later. No problemo. Let's... Do this. All right, so we've managed to scrap absolutely everything here, and let's uh, let's look at the scores on the doors, so to speak. We only got fifty-one expulsum, dude. We got super unlucky. Oh damn, we got super unlucky. It's okay. We're gonna make it work, but that's annoying. Ah, oh. when we upgrade these here, they will be well, well, well worth making. Now, they aren't as worth making. Now, we're aiming for uncanny gear with higher cell rates. So, these numbers on the right side here, 0 0.07, that is the cell rate, okay? And the higher the cell rate, the better. So, first of all, the higher cell rate ones, I'm going to make more of those. And we've we got we to gotta basically work out the maths here. So, if we've got 50 expulsion, we've got to make 50 expulsion worth of items here. But we want to make the most amount of gold possible. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make three uncanny cloaks okay so let's queue three cloaks up that's 15 gone okay uh we're gonna make two mittens that's another 10 gone so that's 25 gone okay then we're gonna make oh trousers uh that's another if i make two of those that's 14 25 add 14 is 39 we'll make one trousers Okay, so that adds 7 to 25, 32. And let's go for the braces next. We can make two of those, which takes us up to 38, right? 32. No, it takes us up to 40. Uh, then we make one boots and one belt. That should take us all the way up to the maximum amount there. That we've got which is 50 so we're going to go ahead and craft those right now we are crafting a little bit more now you've got to bear in mind that when you're crafting these you've got a random chance to make some items are better than others okay so some items are going to sell better than others as, as a result you have to keep it that in mind as you're doing this okay do not freak out right what are we missing here gilded sea weave that's fine let's go to gathering open task list and we have to buy a couple of bits and bobs from the auction house that is completely fine gilded sea weave is no big issue as you are, are scrapping things in the scrapper you do get a lot of materials back so that helps with crafting the uncanny gear as a result and the next time we do a tide spray linen shuffle we've already got some tide spray ready and we've also got quite a lot of this embroidered uh, deep sea satin uh, which is great uh, we've got like 600 it no we've got 450 so that's pretty damn good, considering, uh, well, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. I might have to turn it into deep sea bags if I can, maybe? We'll see. So let's scan all, let's grab the uh, gilded silk weave, what we need. And then we can go ahead and craft the final bits of, of uncanny gear. And all in all, I'd say this, um, I'm not sure how much the, the thread cost us, but the auction house cost us 900 gold roughly. And then I'd say the thread probably cost us about 4,000 gold. Yeah, I'd say about 4,000 gold for the thread. So that's let, let's just round that up to say 5k for the whole, everything included here, okay? Oh, we're selling silk with satchels like hotcakes right now. That's brilliant. Uh, let's just check. Oh, sorry, let's keep this on that. Let's just check how much we've got on the auction house right now. So right now, we have 177,000 gold on the auction house. All right, that's fab. I'm, I used to have these in a group, but I no longer have them in a group. I'm going to make a new group called Un... Uh, 
Penny. Now, the reason for that is because when restocking, it's it's a bit difficult to restock Uncanny Gear because there's no price source for Expulsum. You have to kind of create your own price source. Oh, I just forgot. We haven't actually made the final bits of these, so we need to go ahead and make these. Crafting. Craft these two mittens here. Get out of sh shapeshifter form, please, Erosium. Craft that up. Fantastic. We got everything we need. Right, so now we've got all this. I'm going to put all these epic items into groups. Uh, so let's put them into the uncanny group here. And that's just mainly because I, I want to be able to post them a bit easier on the auction house. Uh, craft post. I don't think that's going to work. Personally, the craft post. We might need to just change that to one of the other uh, ones I've got. I think I've got an expulsion post here. Which would be ideal. I think for this. So we're going to go ahead and apply that to my operation. Select group. All right, now we should be able to post this on the auction house. Okay, so let's run this post then, this post scan. I think everything's done here. So we're just going to run the uncanny post scan and see how much gold that drums us up right now. Okay, so it's saying 5,000 gold for the satin gloves. So first of all, my auctions say 177,000 right now. We spent 5,000 gold on this, on, on sorting all this out right now. And this is what we're, we're expecting as a return. So 177,000. All right, let's just post all that. Easier just to post it all and then find out how much everything costs you. My auctions, it's now saying 244,000 gold. Okay. So we pull up the calculator and we take 244,000. Minus 177,000 equals 67,000 gold minus the, say that's 5,000 gold for the investment equals 62,000 gold profit were they all to sell. That's pretty damn good. Uh, that's a 62k profit right there from just that auction flip. So it is so worth doing guys. They have good sale rates. Uh, they got about a 0 0.8 sale rate. So on average, so you are going to sell through it. You might need to repost them a few times. That's okay. You do what you need to to sell your items. You can get these sold though, guys. Definitely worth doing it. And if you want to reduce the cost of these items, you can go ahead and basically find the upgrades for these items. So this is uh, this uncanny piece. Is that honor? It's telling me it cost honor to, to upgrade that. It, it looks like it's costing honor to upgrade these. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade them if we can. And that should be uh, should be perfect. Thank you very much for hanging out today and watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you smash that like button. And I will.